Hello, in this video, I'm going to go over how you can make custom animations for the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin. So, to get started, you want to go over here and click this little director's icon and click add level sequence. And just save this anywhere in your project. Once you've done this, just open up your content drawer and find the Unreal Engine mannequin. Once you've done this, drag one of the animations somewhere in your level. Once you've dragged in your animation, simply go to your sequence and go track, then go actor to sequence and select the animation that you just imported. You want to see all these little lines appear around your character. Using them, we're going to basically animate our character. So if I select this blue one here, with select and rotate object selected, if I just move this, I can rotate my character's hand. I can also move the position of this object by going to the select and translate objects. And for example, I can just move this here. So basically using these tools, we're going to animate our character. What we're going to do is first go to frame zero and then position your character to the animation that you want to make. So I'm going to make an animation of my character waving their hand. I'm just going to rotate this up a bit and back. And I'll just rotate this like this. So this is going to be the starting animation for my character. Once you've found it, what you want to do is just click this little add new key and this will track the position of our character. I'm just going to select this first one, right click on it and go duplicate and just move this to frame 30. Then at frame 15, I'm going to move my character's arm here and then click track. This way I have a little looping animation on my character waving their hand. So I want this animation to be 30 frames long. So what I'm going to do is just drag this little red arrow and make it stop at this 30 here. Now if I just click play, I have this animation of my character waving their hand. So the next thing we need to do is export this animation. In order to do that, we can just right click on the first animation and go bake animation sequence. Then this will ask us where we want to save the animation. I'm just going to save it in my content drawer, but you can save it anywhere. And just click export to animation. This will export the animation. Now if I go to my content drawer and go to where I exported the animation, it'll be here. I can open it up and we can see it's the animation of my character waving. As well as creating animations using the system, we can also edit existing animations. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. I'm just gonna delete this and then select my mannequin again and go track, add it to sequence and select the idle. And this time we wanna delete this control rig. And under animation, we just wanna select an animation that we wanna edit. So I'm gonna edit the walking animation of my character. So I'm gonna select this walk forward and I'm just going to drag it so it starts at frame 0. And I'll just drag this red little dot so it ends where the animation ends. And as we can see, this is my character's walking animation. If I want to edit it, what we can do is right click on the animation. We're going to go back to control rig and select the CR mannequin body and click create. And as we can see, it will add all these little control rigs around it. And I can go to, for example, frame 46. And if, say at frame 46, I wanted my character's head to rotate slightly here I could just do that and then I can click track and now at frame 46 my character's head is gonna turn slightly towards the left so you can just do that if you want to edit existing animations slightly and if you want to export them it's the same as how we did it before you just right click go bake animation sequence and then select where you want to export the animation so that's how you can create and edit animations inside Unreal Engine Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.